Have you ever asked yourself what exactly is on the registry exam? Like what kind of question can you expect to be asked? And how do you best succeed on the test? Well, what if I told you that they tell you what's on the registry exam? The ARRT tells you what's on the registry exam, what to expect, and how it will be asked. That's precisely what my newest book is about, is how to master the registry using what the ARRT themselves has told us. And so it is a time-intensive way of approaching it. And it requires two months of your time, but I show you how to budget the time and how best to succeed on this test. So uh, let me show you just a little bit from the book itself. This is deep inside the text. We go through what an item is. Now, that term may be unfamiliar to you, but that is the item is what the ARRT refers to as their questions. They just call them items. And so what I want to look at real quickly is what is the anatomy of an item? What can we expect to see? How will they ask us the questions that they want to ask us? And to understand this, you need to understand that there's three documents that the ART has released um, that guide this method. This is a standardized test, and so in essence, they have to test on very, very specific things. So the first thing that you should understand is that they release their content specifications. You can just Google ART content specifications, and you will find that document. They also have a, a more difficult document to find that's called the, the task inventory, and you can Google task inventory. And probably the most difficult document of them all is the item writer's manual or the item writing manual. And I go into more detail about this in my book, um, but these three documents are used in a way that I go into in a great amount of detail to create the entire exam. So knowing what's in these documents allows us to know precisely what will be tested on. Um, and also how we will be tested them. So here's an example of how uh, multiple choice questions are assembled. They have a stem, they have a key, and that's what the ART calls the correct answer. There's distractors, always three of them, for a total of four options, a key and three distractors. So here's an example from my book, Rock the Registry, Volume 1. This part, this first part, when evaluating the primary x-ray beam, which of the following statements best describes, this is this, the stem of the question, and it's, an in, it's, an, it's a direct question. They can also use incomplete statements. We have the options here. Um, three, the first three are distractors, and the final one is the key or the correct answer. So I've got some free stuff for you. Of course, this book, Rock the Registry, um, uh, is, is free and available right now. But also, I have my workbook. Um, so if you miss out on the sale for uh, the two months to mastery, um, this workbook is free uh, for always. You just uh, can sign up for it. There's a link below, and it has um, discussions on how best to uh, do the math problems that are on the registry. So hopefully this is helpful to y'all. Um, I look forward to hearing your comments, your questions. Um, please use me as a resource, and I wish you the best in rocking the registry.